I see my role here is to kind of raise the consciousness of our students, our staff, and the faculty, um, to be quite honestly, because that's where a lot of this stuff plays out. I thought this statement was without question defamatory. So I voted for Miss Wade. I voted Miss Wade. I'm not sure. And that's why I ruled for Golden. I also sided with uh, Golden. I believed every um, word. However, I voted for the plaintiff. Because I don't know what the legal definition of defamation is. Many of us here are lawyers, and maybe we tend to look at it in a certain way. But I didn't buy any of that. In a civil case, you have to find preponderance. So let's call it more likely than that. Just this, to me, was about starting the conversations. There's no better time to really um, grapple with these issues, and I think defamation is a great platform to do that. The cross-examination of Miss Wade got you were on such a roll mm -hmm. with the yeah. backstory and the feelings and the experience. It was loaded not just with the religious and the race, the, there's some serious gender stuff going on there too. It's part of every decision we make. We can't escape seeing color. We don't have honest dialogue yet. We're not there yet. America is very immature when it comes to talking about what's real. In the case of Wade versus Golden, how does the jury find? Uh, who, who usually wins?